It's not a sound you'd expect on most prison grounds, but the Watery Correctional Institution is a unique place where racehorses come to retire and where inmates put their hands to work at learning a new trade. We weren't permitted to reveal the inmates' identities, but they were able to tell us about everything they've learned from caring for horses. You know, when a horse is doing that down there, he's actually telling you something, you know, yeah. and if you could, you know, some people just hear noise. Through the Thoroughbred Retirement Foundation program called Second Chances, inmates with good disciplinary records are able to spend their day tending to the horses. <laughs> but to many, it becomes much more than just a learning experience. So, coming down, this is our uh, Seabiscuit Stables at Second Chances program at Water Reed. As chairman of the program, William Cox says only 12% of inmates leaving here fall back into crime, where he says most prisons see a 40 to 50% return rate. So they have to learn patience, they have to learn kindness, they have to learn bonding and trust, and it has a profound effect. Therefore, it translates into their ability to make it on the outside. Here at the TRF barn on the Watery River Correctional Institution land, inmates and horses come from all differing backgrounds alike, but they come here with one common thread echoing throughout all of these farms, and that's the idea of second chances for all. Scott Kefauver is now on the outside, and after serving 14 years, he's one of the many with fond memories of life on the farm. You know, I'd already done 11 years before I went out there, you know, so, um, and all of that was behind the fences. So this is my first time where I had been outside of razor wire in, in you know, over 11 years. And to Kefauver, tending to the horses meant so much more than just passing the time. I get emotional. <laughs> like, I miss these horses, yeah. you know what I mean? I get attached to them. Yeah. Um, they were my best friends, like, for a long time. It was cool. Kefauver said these horses offered a trait not commonly found on prison grounds. Compassion. Of touch, yeah. you know? I mean, you don't... You know, <laughs> you, don't, you don't hug your buddies in yeah. prison, you know what I mean? It just doesn't really go on. So, like, you know, you can go out there and wrap your arms around a sweaty, you know, salty horse neck and just, like, you know, just, just let go. And what began as a program to provide Watery's inmates a special skill has led them down a journey of self-discovery. You know, I'm starting to realize more and more that, you know, all of these animals, you know, are so much more similar to, you know, us as human beings. We realize, you know, their needs... Their social connections, you know, their desires and all that kind of stuff, just from being around them and seeing how they act. The Watery Correctional Institution, a unique prison where inmates say compassion for the horses translates into a better understanding of people, leading them to a second chance at life. From Rimbert, South Carolina, Ashley Honey reporting, Carolina News.